So adding a brush into Lightroom, this is just a one brush you get, and adding the brush is a tiny bit more complicated, but you can add it in. So you'll notice in your downloads of the big um, Christmas Magic bumper download, you get here this LRC preset. This is a Lightroom template, it's a brush. It's not a preset, it's a brush. I'm gonna show you how to install it and how to get it in. So what you need to do, and this is gonna require a little bit of a reset, but once it's in, it's in. Uh, first you need to find your preferences folder on Windows it's under edit preferences on Mac it's under Lightroom which will be over here it's under Lightroom you just need to click Lightroom if you're on a Mac or edit if you're on a PC and hit preferences your preferences window will pop up like this um, I'm going to hit the presets folder and you have two options here. You have show Lightroom develop presets and show all other Lightroom presets. This is the one we're going to want to look into. And this depends where it's stored on your computer. It will open up where the other presets are stored. So you'll see Lightroom is selected. If not, you need to just scroll down and hit Lightroom. Not necessarily Lightroom, CC Help or anything like that, just Lightroom. Open this one up and you'll see that you have um, not develop presets, they're the, the Christmas presets we've added in. Here where it says local adjustment presets because the brush is making an adjustment to a local area of your image. You see I've got a lot of LSP in here because I've made a lot of brushes. What you're going to want to do is grab your LSP Christmas glow brush, you can drag and drop or you can copy and paste and add it into this folder. And you'll see there it is, the LSP Christmas glow brush. You can go ahead and close these folders now. Now to get this to show, what you're going to need to do is actually close Lightroom down and reopen it again because the brushes won't show until you've reset. The, the presets will, brushes won't. I said Lightroom is a little bit complicated sometimes. So we're opening back up again and now in theory the, the glow brush should be installed. So on your develop panel and you hit here, this is a masking on ACR. Go away. On ACR you will have uh, the same icon but it will be down on a side panel, on a vertical panel rather than a horizontal panel. So we're going to click this and what that's going to do, let's just open up the masking, little, make this little box here. You see there's already a couple of masks that we applied from the magic section. You hover over a mask, this was the um, subject pop and this mask here was the, um, the skin. So what you can do is hit create new mask choose brush from the drop down and it's going to come up with this window it's a no mask selected preset custom so if you click this you should be able to find the LSP Christmas glow brush in your list it should start with a little star it might start with a dash so we're going to select that one now up here in the brush menu you have a size that you can change see there it's getting bigger and smaller Feather is how soft it is around the outside, so if you want to add kind of a harder glow that looks more like a bokeh, then you might want the feather look down. If you want to add a glow to candle flames, um, to an area, to a fireplace, to a lantern, you're going to want that nice and feathered. The flow is how strong the brush comes out, so I'm going to take that down a little bit. Density, I'm going to leave at 100 for this one. You can also use the square bracket keys to make the brush smaller or larger, see there. So let's use this to add a little bit of glow. So I'm just going to click on the candle and click. You see that's added a glow in. If it's a little strong, you can take the density down. And again here. And here. It really depends on your image. So you see I'm just clicking. You can also, if, you, if you're using mouse with one of the little wheels in the middle, you can scroll up and down to make your brush bigger and smaller. So I'm just adding a glow to these candles, it's all on the same mask. So now we've lit the candles. I can just click the brush to get off. And you can see there, we've added the glow. If you want to add another brush on a new mask, you can simply click on here, the plus again, create new mask, brush, select glow brush from the drop down if it's not already selected. And let's try and use this brush just to create a nice glow coming in. So I'm making it nice and big. I'm going to take the density and the flow all the way down so it's nice and gentle and I'm just going to click this around here and you can see we're just adding a very soft glow so this brush is great fun if you use Photoshop um, you can do these things a little bit more tailored in Photoshop 
So if you use Photoshop you, in the LSP actions you get with this set, the Christmas Magic actions, you do actually have a glow brush in there. Um, you can watch the tutorial for that. But if you only operate in Lightroom, this is a great way to add that Christmas magic. So I'm just going to clip off the brush again now. Just straighten this image a little bit and crop. And there we go. I'm going to show you where we were before and after. So I'm going to create a virtual copy. And on the virtual copy, I'm just going to reset all the editing on that one. So once that's reset, it might take a moment. You see there's our before straight out of camera. And here's our after, which is just loaded, which is a Lightroom edit only. So before and after. And this, oh, 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 come on Lightroom, you can do it. Here we go, it's our after image. And this is using the LSP Mini Magic Lightroom and ACR presets. So now I'm going to show you how to get these into ACR. And that's covered in the next tutorial video. I've split the videos up, so please do go ahead and watch the next tutorial after this one. You can see all the videos for this complete set over on the LSP Actions website at lsp-actions.com under the video tutorial library. See you there.